Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam. Okay, semua okay. okay. Good. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi. Okay. Okay, because because ah uh, because but ah uh, before we begin, is there anything that you want to say? Any comment from last class? Any question? Eh, dah satu kelas dulu. Ah? Okay, tak apa ya. Alright. So today we are going to start with our. A proper discussion. Our first topic would be on the what do you call it? on the linear function. So today we're going to discuss linear function. Uh, hopefully, in one hour, I can uh, discuss a few things. So our plan for today would be the following. Can you see my notes, yeah? Because I already uh, made the sharing. Can you see the notes? Yes, yes. Okay, good. So sometimes, you know, Okay. So today we're going to define. Okay, we are going to start with linear function. But first of all, we're going to define a function. What is a function? Basically, uh, from the first topic up to the last topic, we will deal with functions. It's just a different type of function. So the only definition that we need is uh, what is a function. So we're going to define the function, and then we're going to look at linear function. What is a linear function? And then we're going to do a few things about linear function. So our plan for today is uh, first to define what is a linear function. And then we're going to no, define the function. And then we're going to look at linear function. And then we're going to uh, Draw the graph. Draw graph of a linear function. You want to see how uh, the line look like. All right. Now, first, what is a function? Okay. We consider two variables, x and y. So we start with two variables, uh, x, y, and both of these. They are elements of real numbers. All right. Now, what is real number? Okay, real number. I want you to go back to chapter zero. Now, chapter zero is a good chapter. So, anything that you forgot, all right, the basic operations, basic uh, number system, anything that you forgot. Um, uh, maybe you come up with this a few years ago. So basic concepts are uh, in chapter seven. Anything you have a problem with? So you always go back to chapter seven, do review. So that is the first of chapter seven. Right? So, uh, uh, so X and Y are elements of the now, a function, okay, a function is a relationship. A relationship or a relation between X and Y. Such that, you know, I, I'm going to write this down, you know, because uh, this is the, the very basic idea. Such that each element or each value element or value 
of 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 x maps only maps <coughs> to one and only one element of y of value so you have a relationship between these two variables x and y in such a way that each element of x, okay, each element of x maps to exactly one element of y. So each element of x maps to one and only one, one element meaning exactly one. No? Okay, it cannot map to, to two or three values of y. Okay, so map to exactly one element of y. So that is a function. So it's a special relationship. Any kind of uh, mapping, okay, is just a simple relationship. But a function, special relationship, that satisfies this condition. You have each element of x met to exactly one and only one element of y. Okay, all right. Now to make it clear, or to get a clearer idea, we look at a few examples. Okay, I'll give you an example. Let's say we have the following. So you have the mapping of x to y. So you start with the variable x, and then you have the second variable y uh, that maps on two. So say you have one, two, three. And here we have two, Four, six. And that is the map. Two maps to, no, one maps to two, two maps to four, three maps to six. Now, is this a function? Does, so in order for you to, to conclude that it's a function or not, does it satisfy the definition? Okay, the conditions that we put we put on. That means each element of X must match to one and only one element of Y. So does this relation satisfy a function? Or is this relation a function? Yes or no? Uh, yeah. Yes, uh, yeah. it's easy, yes, right? Because you see here, each element of X, the first group, first variable, maps to what? Exactly one value of Y, right? So it's a function. Okay, I'll give you another one. Let's say I have uh, this one. I have negative two, <coughs> negative one, one, two. And here we have one, four. So I have negative two max to four, two max to four, negative one max to one, one max to one. Okay, is this a function? So the first one, function, huh? Okay. Yani, function good is this a function? No. Uh, some people say no, some people say yes. So look at it again. So first thing, you have each element of X maps to, maps to exactly one element of Y. Exactly one element of Y. You know, you cannot map to two elements of Y. You map only to exactly. That means if uh, one and only one element of Y. Does it satisfy that mapping? So you see here, yes. uh, you yes. see here, they are function again. So you see here, negative two maps to four. Two maps to four. Now the mapping is onto the same value of Y, all right? But on the X side, you have mapping what? Mapping of each element of X to only one element of Y. 
So the element of y, we are not talking about different element on the same element. So nothing about that, okay? So it can be the same element. It can be different. So here you have a different element. Here you got the same element, meaning or as long as it satisfies exactly one element of y. So you see here, negative two maps to four. Two maps to four. But exactly what? Exactly one element of y from each element of x. So you can see here, negative one maps to one, one maps to one. Uh, so this is a function. Okay, uh, exactly the same and exactly, but exactly one value of y. Okay, all right, any question? Okay, I'll give you one more. Okay, here, let's say you've got one, two, one, two, three. Let's say here you've got two, <laughs> Four, five, six. Suppose I have this mapping. Right now, is this a function? This is x. No. Uh, no. Uh, so it's not a function. Why? Because you can see here uh, one element of x is two maps to not one element of y. It maps to two elements of y. Okay, so that does not satisfy a function. So these two uh, examples of function, this one is not. So the key here is each element of x maps to exactly one element of y, and that element of y can be the same. It can be different. It doesn't matter as long as it satisfy just. A mapping to exactly one element of y, right? Okay. So uh, for function, uh, we have a way of writing it. So we call it a notation. That means notation means a symbol. Huh? So notation of a function, since you have a mapping from x to y, we say that y depend on x. So we write y is a function of x. So how do you write it? You write it y is equal to f of x. So here, y is a function of x. Because y depends on x. Uh, y is a function of x. And uh, y is f of x. So y f of x, Nina. Okay, y equal to f of x. So that is the notation of a function. How you denote a function, All right? Okay. So uh, by making use of this notation, you have uh, you have an equation form. Okay, you have an equation form because you have the right hand, the left hand side equal to the right hand side y equal to some function of x. So it's equation form. So your function we can express in equation form. So we can describe, okay? We can describe the relationship between the two variables. So if you look at this, these two examples, okay? Uh, you can see here, there is a rule, okay? There is a rule, or we can say pattern, you know? Pattern of the relationship, rule that describes the relationship, okay? The rule that describes the relationship. Uh, if you if you look at this, uh, you can see that the pattern or the rule that is the relationship for that is a function. Okay, in other words, you can write it in terms of equation. So if you look at the first example, you see the mapping, you know, one, two, two, four, three, six. Now, what is the rule here of the mapping? Or what is the pattern of the mapping? Times two. Uh, times two, okay? You see here, uh, the value of y is what? Double the value of x. Or you can say y is x times two, 
Okay, so y equals to f of x for that example, you can write y equal to 2x. Okay, x multiplied by 2. So that is the function. We can write it in equation form. Okay, we go to the second example. Now, if you look at the second example, uh, see, there is also a rule or there is a pattern of the relationship, uh, but it's not as straightforward as the first example, but it is not something that you haven't seen, okay? Now, if you look at the second example, uh, what is the rule uh, that describes the relationship? Anybody remember? Negative one equal to one. Uh, power of two, okay? You see here, uh, for example, number two, you got y equal to x squared. All right, so that is the function. So those are the examples. Okay, all right, any question, any comment, anything? Okay, now, if you don't understand anything or you have a comment, you know, at the point, if I make a mistake on the, along the way, uh, just check out there, okay? Okay, all right. So, uh, what I want to do next is, uh, that we, we want, I want to give you the general, you know, a general type of function. Now, this type of function, we are going to encounter this from now until the end of the semester. Uh, general type of function. This is called the polynomial function. Polynomial. <coughs> okay, polynomial function. Uh, polynomial. Polynomial function. It's a function like this. Okay, you have uh, y equal to a n x to the power n plus a n minus one x to the power of n minus one <coughs> blah, 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 blah. Okay, blah, blah, sampai. Uh, A, one, X to the power of one, plus A, zero, X to the power of zero. Where A, all right, A are constants. A are the coefficient of the X, they are constant. Uh, and uh, positive constants. <coughs> it must be bigger than zero, L zero. All right, bigger than zero. Uh, positive constant. And then uh, N integers. Okay, integers. Integers meaning you, you cannot have uh, 1.5, things like that. You must have one, zero, one, two, three, up, two, and okay? <coughs> positive integer, integer. So this general form of a poly polynomial function. All right. Now the one that you may encounter is familiar with us is where n is equal to two. Now when equal to two, right? What you have is what? What you have is a quadratic function. So for n equal to two, uh, n equal to two, what we have is a two x to the power of two plus a x a one to the power. Okay, a one x for one is just x plus a zero, okay? Because x to the power of zero is equal to zero one. So zero. So this one we call it quadratic. 
So I think this one will be familiar. Okay. Now for n equal to three. Okay. Anybody recall n equal to three? What 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 function do we call it? What is the name of the function when n equal to three? Cubic. Ah, cubic function. Okay. You where the highest power is three. So you call it cubic. Now for a linear function, you have the following. Linear function, the highest power of the n is one. So n can be one or zero. So let's say n equal to one. So when you have n equal to one, you have f of x equal to a x plus a zero. So that is a linear function. Or if our n is equal to zero, then f of x is simply equal to, to a zero. So this is a linear function. Linear is a special name. Okay, in a special, they bring a constant function. So constant function, linear. Okay. So example, uh, we can have f of x equal to 2x plus n. So that is a linear function. Or f of x equal to 7. Okay, so that is a function. It's not a function, but it's a linear. So you can write a function like this. Now, since you have y equal to f of x, we can either write f of x equal to, you know, whatever f it is, or you can also write it in terms of y. Okay? So you can write f of x equal to 2, and then you can also write y equal to ax plus a0. For uh, example, y equal to x plus 21. So you can you can either write y equal to some function of x, or you can write simply in terms of f of x. Okay, so that's how you write. Okay. So that is linear function. Okay, so linear function, the highest power of n is either one or zero. So like we discussed earlier, if the highest power of n is two, it's called quadratic. Quadratic is not linear. Or higher than that, cubic function. Is, is is also non-linear. So for our course, all right, for our course, we, we are doing dealing with this one. We also deal with a cubic uh, n equal to four. Okay, I did not do not so much. Right. So these are the three types of functions that we are going to deal with mainly in the course. <laughs> okay. All right. So next thing is. How does the graph look like? How does the function look like, the linear function? So basically what you're going to do here is you want to draw the graph of linear functions. So we're going to do this by, 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 by example, like what's now by using example. Okay, now uh, the book for linear function, the general form we use uh, y equal to mx plus b. Now, no, we normally don't write ax plus a zero. Uh, for linear function, we use uh, this notation mx plus b where m b any constant okay right. and then for constant function too y equal to m of x equal to b okay so now we're going to see how the function look like all right how the function look like okay so we're going to do this by 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 example Suppose we have y equal to five of x plus 
plus 10, plus 10. So you have that function. How does this function look like? All right, okay, now, when you talk about linear function, linear means what? Linear means straight. So uh, the line must be straight. The line, the the, the, the constant is straight line. How? Which way is it going? Is it going up? Is it going down? You know, so we know it's a straight line. What you want to do is you want to find uh, the direction, you know, uh, the direction of the line. Is it going up, going down? Okay, okay, good. So how to see the graph of the function? Now, what we do, okay, uh, there, are, there are two ways of doing it. Now, method number one, we use a uh, few points. A few points <coughs> around x equal to zero. So let's say you have x equal to zero here. You put negative one, negative two. One, two, three. So we can write table, slash it here. Okay, so you make a table. For each of the values of x here, these values of x, you find the corresponding value of y. So around x equal to zero, what you do here, you find, find, the mapping, okay? The mapping of x to the y. So the corresponding value of y, okay? So the mapping, the mapping of the x, what is the value of that mapping in terms of y? So we're going to use, or we have the function or the equation of the function, y equal to 5x plus 12. Now, given these values of x, you want to find what is the corresponding value of y. So how do you do that? We are going to use a simple method. And this method is very popular in this course. We are going to use the substitution method. Substitution method, very simple. So we just substitute x into the function. So we substitute every value of x into the, the function and find the corresponding of corresponding value of y. So we, you start with x equal to negative two, okay? So when x equal to negative two, you substitute <coughs> x equal to negative two into y or everywhere. Now, what is the corresponding value of y? So when x equal to negative two, you go back to the function. What is the value of y? Substitute. So what do you get? Negative two. Uh, you will get y equal to five negative two plus twelve. Uh, plus 12. So you have 5 times 10, uh, 5 times 2 is equal to negative 10 plus 12. Okay, negative 2 ke 5? 2, okay? Positive 2. Uh, positive 2. two. Uh, bukan negative 2. Two, two. So you have for x equal to negative 2, y equal to 2. Correct? Right? So that is one point. Uh, so that's considered one point. Huh? Okay? One point means the value of x and the corresponding value of y. So that's one point. Okay? So now I want you to fill up everything. Okay? Cari yang ni, cari yang tu, cari yang tu semua. Substitute je. Okay? Substitute the, the, the that value of x that I have here into the function, and then you get the value of y. Okay, cari semua. Lepas tu kita tengok, berapa dia jadi value.
<coughs> okay, all right. Now, uh, when x equal to negative one, seven, 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 so you have negative one, seven, zero, twelve. It's not zero or twelve. Okay, when x equal to one, seventeen. Ah, seventeen. X equal to two, that will be twenty-two, right? X yes. equal to oh, three, yeah. twenty three. Hello, three fifteen. Twenty seven. 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 So these are the points. So we can write. Okay, we can write uh, each of uh, the the values of x and its corresponding value of y. Uh, it's a point. Okay. Now we can write a point like this. Uh, a point means you have the value of x and its corresponding value of y. Now, how do you determine that? Okay, that will come from the function. You've got y as a function of x. Okay, y is a function of x. So we write the value of x first and then the value of y second. Okay, something that I forgot to tell you. Uh, when you have uh, y equal to a function of x, uh, we call this variable x as the independent variable. Okay, independent variable because that is the variable that we begin with. So it is independent. Okay, now y, since y depend on x, all right, because x maps to y. So y depend on x, you call this dependent variable. Okay, we have the dependent variable and I have your independent variable. So y is the dependent, independent. So when you write down a point, okay, you start with the independent, the value of the independent variable, and then the second value will be the value to the independent variable. So example, if you look at our, our function earlier, so you have uh, negative two maps to two. So that is one point, okay? So that's one point, you call it negative two, two. And then you have the second point, you have negative one maps to seven. So that's another point. So when you write a point, you have x, y, okay? x, y. Now when you draw the graph, when you draw a graph, uh, how do you draw a graph? When you draw the graph, you put the independent variable in the horizontal axis. The dependent variable vertical axis. And where it intersects, you call it the origin, okay? So here is the origin. So at the origin, you have x, y equal to zero, zero, do, do, zero. Okay, x equal to zero, y equal to zero. So that's the origin, okay? All right, now, when you draw, okay? When we draw, we need to put a scale, okay? You need to put a scale, ah. and then we need to determine the interval. Need the interval. <coughs> scale meaning, uh, uh, do you want it to be a uh, scale of, uh, uh, if you look at the value here, I have negative one, negative, uh, negative two, negative one, zero, one, two, three. So what is the, the scale, scale of what? You can use a scale of one. Yeah, keep the little bit, scale of one. And then the interval, it depends on you. When you draw the graph, you can make the interval larger or you can make the interval 
uh, color, it's up to you. Okay. So for X, you can use scale of one because everything here is in terms of uh, one to three. So we can use one. Now interval means, do you want it to be one, one inch or one cm or two inches? It's up to you, okay? So since I don't have a ruler, I just put, I just, uh, I just estimate. Uh, all right, so that is the interval for the X variable. Now, if you look at Y, you see the Y which depend on X. Y, you see the value will be range from where? From two to 27. So if you use scale of one, then uh, you may have to use a bigger, very, very big paper. Uh, you know, a normal paper, but you need but three. Okay? So you have to make a, a larger scale. So what scale do you think is good for our value of one? Baba? Okay, give me a suggestion. Scale, weapon to Y. I already five. do for X. Okay, you give me Y. Five. Ah, you can use five. five. Okay, five. five is good. All right, so you can use scale of five or you can use 10. Okay, so I think, but five, I think is, is good because you can locate 27, 22, you know, 17 uh, better. So you can use five. So if I use five, so here you got five, 10, 20, 25, 30. I could go Okay. Okay. I have to move, move up that way a little bit. So let's say I got five here. 10, 15, 20. 25, 30, okay, so that is why, okay? All right, now the scale, you can use either 10 or five. Uh, normally, you, or you can use four, okay? Uh, but sometimes, you know, we use five and 10, it's more convenient, easy, easy to, you know, easy to locate. You can use three, you can use four, okay? But, but then one, sometimes, you know, four, eight, 12. Mm -hmm. So sorry, I got to tell you five, 10. Right, so that's how you determine the scale. You know how you determine the scale that depends on the value of the variables that we have. All right. For example, because in terms of one, so you can use interval of one, and then for the y, you have to make your own that depending on the values that we have. Okay. Any question? Now, when you draw a graph, this one I want to remind everyone because it tend to happen, you know, it may it tend to happen uh, all the time. Now, when you draw a graph, first thing that you have to remember or you have to label is the origin, okay? Now, some people, when you draw a graph, you forgot to put in the origin. Then you just put the intersection without labeling the value. So that is the right. Okay, what we should do? Jangan lupa. Mula-mula when you draw a graph, first thing that you do, you know, put the origin. So very important here. Secondly, you have to uh, label, okay, the horizontal or the horizontal axis X. Vertical axis, why? All right, so this is also very important. Now, there are a few people, I, I will have this, you know, happening every semester. You miss to put the X and the Y. So make sure, you know, we draw a graph, put the variables in the right position, and then label the origin, okay? Now I remind this every semester. 
uh, but still, you know, there will be some people who, who overlook this. So it's very basic, all right? So what you do next is that, based on the points that you have, right? The, the, the mapping, there's the mapping of X to the corresponding Y. So you call those points. So those are the points that define the function. So you have your what, negative two, two. So negative two, two will be somewhere here. And then I have negative one, seven will be somewhere there. Okay, zero, 12 will be somewhere here. And then you've got one to 17 will be somewhere there. Now, if you draw, I want you to draw it nicely. Okay, because mine is very, very rough. Because I don't have, you know, I don't, I'm not using paper. This one is quite difficult. Oh, tell you draw, draw nicely. So that when you, when we have the product, that would be a straight line. And then two, you got 22. Three, 27. Ah. Okay, so what you do now? Straight line. Straight line, get sambo. Okay, so I sambo. Okay, my line is quite nice. There. So that is y equal to 5x plus there. So after you, after you draw the line, you label it with the corresponding function. Okay, so that is the line. Okay, now I want everybody to draw. Okay, so now if you have not drawn, I want you to draw now. Okay, I give you three minutes. So make sure we know how to do this. Now, when you draw, you put a scale. Okay, proper scaling, proper interval, proper axis, and then the line should be straight. Okay. So right now, I'll give you time. Okay. Kalau if you want to draw, you know, if you want to draw using another scale, pumbule. Okay. You want to use ten. Okay, go ahead, try 10. Or if you want to use four, put it up. All right, so you, you make your choice because uh, the scale uh, is it's our choice, but make, make it reasonable. Lah. Mm -hmm. Okay, jangan lah sampai bila 50 sampai 30 kan, you make scale of 50, 100, tak patut lah. <coughs> okay, all right. So buat sekarang, I want everybody to do. I want to check attendance. Ah, ni cantik. Abdul Wafi, you know, your picture is an example. Mm. Ah, yeah, ni pun bagus, Noor Farah. So, I want to remind you, you know, please put your picture with your name. Uh, I still have many people without any picture. Ah, yeah, ni, I don't want this. Okay, so Salman Nasution. Nasution Salman, are you here? Uh, please don't put uh, S. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, all right. I want you to put your real picture. Okay? Uh, real picture like the others here so that I can identify you. I can know who you are. Because I will never see you, you know, personally. I mean, face to face, we will not see each other. So the only way to, to make, to be familiar or to know you is Good picture. Okay, Isma. Isma Aftab. 
Alright, don't yes, put uh, jangan letak gambar bunga. Okay, don't put a flower. Of, I know you like flowers, uh, but I want to see your 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 actual you. Okay, so please uh, put your actual picture. Uh, uh, yang ni lagi satu. I know, I know. Mana I know? Mana dah pergi? Okay, I know ni. I know Zinira. Are you twin? Jangan letak enam gambar dengan dengan orang lain. Okay, I want only you because here I do not know which one is you. Okay, nah, tukar tukar gambar ni. Ya, ni gambar siapa saya tak tahu. And then kalau boleh close up lah sikit. Yeah. Ah, macam gambar saya kan, if you look at my picture dekat tu, close up sikit. You know? No sir, ah, ada that's my name. Sepatu jauh pun. Anda? Apa dia? Ainur, Ainur sendiri lah. Eh? Uh, Letak gambar seorang ni. Jangan letak gambar dua. Okay. So for those people who have not put the pictures yet, please do so as soon as possible. Okay. All right. Yes, my name I know Zin. Huh? I know apa? Mana, mana? Where is your name? Ada tadi. Ah, uh, Anis Ilya. Okay. okay. So benda tu lah. Senang aja nak buat. Alright. Bukan ni satu apa. Letak je gambar. Ah, uh, jangan lah letak ni. Ni jauh kat ni. Okay, nampak payung. Jauh kat mana tak nampak. Ke belakang tu benda tu. You are in. Okay. Nah, inilah dia bila buat live online ni kan macam dia. Tak apa. No, wait, wait. let's say I got disconnected. Uh, you you don't go away. Okay? You you stay. Because uh, as long as the period is not over, uh, we will have our class to be continued. Okay. Alright, can you see the graph? Sebab tadi dia putus. You know, saya takut tadi benda ni hilang pula. Nampak orang benda ni? Alright, good. So, that's how we draw a graph. Okay, that's method number one. Now, method number two, you know, first method, you use a few points around the origin. Now, method number two is much simpler. We only need two points. The points, you need only the y-intercept. And then I need the x in the set. These are the only points that I need. So we can draw also the graph. And this method is much simpler because you need only to take two points. So to go back to the graph. Now, what is y-intercept? Y-intercept is where the line cuts the y-axis. So this is the y intercept. And the x intercept is when the line cuts the x axis. So our line stop here. So kita continue. Tarik dia ke bawah lagi. Okay, tarik bawah jumpa dulu. Ah, that's the point. So that is the y intercept. So what we need, no, I'm sorry, look at y intercept x intercept. So kita need only that two point. All right, x intercept, y intercept. And then you connect the two points, you will get the line. Okay, all right. Now next thing is, how do you get the x intercept and the y intercept? If you look at the x intercept, how do you identify the x intercept? What is a special character of that point, which we call the x-intercept? Where it cuts the x-axis, where the line cuts the x-axis. You have, you know, you can have the line, uh, 
Uh, you have, you can have the line written to. You can have the line D2. All these are the X. Okay, what is a special character for that point? Y equals zero. Uh, y equals to zero. So it's easy to locate the x in the set because on the x axis, the value of y is zero. So what you need just to find the value of x. Similarly for the y intercept. Okay, for the y intercept, what is so special? What is the special character of the, of, y, the, of the y intercept? All the points on the y axis. X equal zero. Ah, x equal to zero. Okay, you find y. So you need only two points, all right? Number one, x intercept. Second, y intercept. Or either way, you know, you can do the y intercept first, x intercept second, doesn't matter. So the thing is, x intercept, y equal to zero, y intercept, x equal to zero. So let's uh, let's uh, do it. Okay, so I can use the same function here, right? I can use the same function, uh, but we, we use another function, right? So for this function here, uh, we know the y intercept. Okay, the y intercept is here. Okay, when x equal to zero, so that's the y intercept. Uh, the x intercept. Okay, x into z. So what I want you to do, you go home, tell me the x into z. So extend the line, you got that. Determine what is that one. Okay. So we, we use another example. So example number two, let's say I got y equal to negative 4x plus Plus, plus, proper, plus 15. Plus 15. 15, I Plus 21. Plus 25. Uh, 25. All right. So you got the, the function here. Uh, y equals to negative 4x plus 25. So we want to draw the graph. We are going to use the intercept. So number one, you find what? Find the x intercept. So how do you get the x intercept? Y equal to zero. Okay, so y equal to zero, you find the x. So what do you do? You do by substitution or substitution. So by substitution, you get what? You get zero equal to negative four x plus twenty five. Four x equal to twenty five. X equal to twenty five over four. Okay, twenty five over four. Where? 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 Uh, 25 over 4, 6 point, what, what? 6 point? Mm, negative 25. 6 point 25. Uh, negative, okay. Uh, okay, okay. Be positive. You bring the negative 4, sini become positive. You've got positive 25. So it should be positive. Eh? Uh, it's not negative. So, you know, uh, ingat tu, when you bring, you do the operation uh, on the equation, Negative become positive. Positive become negative when, when you integrate the side. Okay? So keep out negative only. Negative four you bring to the left, it become positive for x. Okay? 25. So x is 25 over 4. Uh, 6 point, 6 point over 5. 6.25. Okay, so, yes. so that is our x intercept. So the x intercept, but the x intercept, y equal to zero. So the x intercept is 6.250. So that's the point. Okay, uh, y equal to zero, 
uh, that where it will cut the axis at 6.25. Okay. All right. Are you, are you done? Uh, I want everybody to finish. Okay. Uh, write it down. When you finish, then I will proceed. Okay. Everybody finish. Okay. All right. So now we find the y intercept. So secondly, you got to find the y intercept, meaning x equal to zero. So we get here, you know, by substitution. You, know, you, you can write the word full, you know, substitution. What do I get? I get y equal to negative four x. Negative four x plus twenty five. Uh, negative four multiplied by zero plus 25, equal to 25. Senang, yeah? So what is the y-intercept? 0, 25. So you have the two points, one on the x-axis, one on the y-axis, y-intercept, x-intercept. So again, similarly, uh, just like what we did earlier, you draw the graph. Uh, draw the graph, uh, x, y, so the y axis, I got 0, 25. So kita buatlah uh, 10, 20, 30. OK, 10, 20, 30 boleh lah. 10, 20, 30. OK, for the y, oh no, for the x, uh, you got 6.25. So kita so guna apa? Okay, give me, give me suggestion. 6.25, what is a good interval? What is a good scale? Right, 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 right. Yeah. You will not go wrong. You know, you give me one, one scale, you will not go wrong. Cuma, which one is more preferred than the other? Yeah. Okay, give me one scale. Wait, wait, wait. Anybody? You draw your graph, go, you can do that. Two. Uh, two, you can use two, but I don't like two. Give me one more skill. <laughs> wait, wait. Give me one more skill. Kita ada 60 orang lebih dalam. Takkan satu sikit kita boleh bagi. Okay, another idea. Two. Ah, two dah cakap dah tadi, tak nak. Two, two. I prefer another sikit. Give me one more. You can use two, no problem. I think two pun bagus juga. Okay, but... but uh, three. Uh, three boleh. Okay, I want one more. Satu lagi, satu lagi. Give me one more. The last one. Two, three. Apa? One, five. Ah, five. Okay, use five. Okay, two, 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 three. Itu boleh ya? Okay, boleh. I don't say you cannot. Okay, that's good. You use two, you use three. Okay. But I like five. Five, ten. So, here is negative five, here is negative 10. So here are the, the, the two points. I got the y-intercept 0, 25 will be somewhere here. And then now if you use three or two, your, yours will be more accurate, okay? Yours will be more accurate because your, your scale is smaller, okay? It will be more accurate because our value is 6.25. Uh, I use five, uh, just, you know, to be different from your suggestion, uh, it will not be as accurate as if you put two or three. So I, I, I estimate it as now. Okay, so what you do, you connect the two points, then you will get the line. So make sure kita buat straight line, okay? Saya tak straight sangat, bengkok. 
So make sure buat straight eh. Kalau susah pakai ruler. Y equal negative 4. X plus 25. Okay. Alright. Any question? Okay, good. So, I will like you to go to the book. Alright, book is, like I mentioned earlier, our book ni Harburger. Harburger. Harsh Burger. So, the one that we are doing now is 1.3. Okay. 1.3. 1.2 is just a general function. 1.3 is the linear function. So you go to 1.3. Uh, you would like you to, to look at one question. Kita buat satu question dalam buku. Uh, you go to the book. I want you to... Uh, Okay, I want you to do question number seven. Okay, number seventeen. Yeah, Nini. Y equal to seven over three. Plus, oh no, minus one. Oh, kita pakai yang kita pakai. Kalau saya berhenti lah. Question number eight. Y equal to 4 over 3x plus 1 over 2. Ah, okay, buat ni. Okay, buat, buat now. Kita pakai ni je. Alright, I want you to use the for now, all right. Now use the second method. So now, well, find the two. Find only two points. The x intercept, y intercept. <sighs> okay, boys, come. I'll give you five minutes, and then, uh, and then draw the graph. Okay, draw the graph nicely. Okay, dapat lah. Okay, what is the x in the set? <coughs> okay, anybody got the x in the set? I got here y equal to berapa tadi? Over 3x plus 1 half. 
Okay, exit the set. Anybody get? Negative. Negative. Yes. Negative. Negative. Half. Negative half. Uh, I don't think it's negative half. Uh, negative. Negative. Uh, it should be negative three over eight. All right. So you got the x-intercept. Intercept means y equal to zero. Then y equal to zero. So by substitution, uh, we have uh, zero equal to four over three x plus half. Okay. You bring the x to the left. So you've got negative four over three x equal to a half. Now you bring all the constants to the right. You've got x equal to half multiplied by negative three over four. Okay, you bring the four to the bottom, three to the top. So that is equal to negative three over three. Okay, so operation, when you, uh -huh. you move uh, from one side to the other, division will become multiplication. Multiplication up there become division. Okay, positive, negative, negative, positive. So you interchange the operation. So you got negative three over eight. So our point here is negative three over eight zero. Uh, the y intercept. Okay, what do you get? The y intercept. One over two. One over two. One over two. The y intercept meaning x equal to zero, y equal to four over three x, no zero, I'm sorry, plus half, that is equal to half. So our point is zero, one half. So I want you to go home, draw it, okay? Draw later, I draw at home, because now I, I want to do another So if you look at this uh, function, uh, y equal to mx plus b, all right? Uh, we already did uh, two examples. Uh, if you look at the example that we discussed earlier, that's one, okay? The, the other one was the earlier example. Uh, what, what is b, you know? What, what is a special character of, of that b? Ah, tiga pun kita buat kan? Satu, dua, ni, tiga, ah, ni, tiga. Okay, so what, what is that B, actually? Y intercept. Ah, that B is Y intercept. Okay, thank you, good. Then the B is Y intercept. Y intercept is actually the value of B, okay? B ni Y intercept. So Y equal to B to Y intercept, All right? So the point will be zero B. So that constant is the Y intercept. Now the M, okay, the M is the slope. The slope, we are going to discuss later on. What is this slope? Okay, we are going to talk about later. But this thing here is the y-intercept, all right? So the y-intercept is always given by that value. So if you do the, of course, you know, if you have to find, simply substitute, you will get that value. Okay, you will get the value of the b. If you don't, that means some operation is wrong, okay? So that's a good way to get, all right? If our y that is wrong, we should get the value equal to B. If you don't, some operation will be missing. Uh, or, you know, you make a mistake along the way. Uh, okay, so that is the B out of the, the Y. Okay. So if you look at the book, you will see there are a few forms. Okay, there are a few forms which they write the, the linear function. 
So, because, you know, when we do the question, you will, you will see not just the form that I, I have discussed earlier, all right? You will see, if you look at question number 23, all right, you have both X and Y on the left, okay? So there is a, that's another form. So the one that you have been talking about, this is called the slope intercept form. Okay, slope intercept form, because you have the intercept, the B intercept, and then you have the slope. So we call it slope intercept form. Now there is another form. Uh, you look at question number 23 and 24, you have the X and Y both on the left hand side. That is called the general form. So you have AX plus BY equal to C. Okay, that is called the general form. And then uh, you have I'm not going to say from the right uh, vertical line, horizontal line. Okay, so you have horizontal line y equal to b. So that is on one point three. You go to one point three on page. Okay, one point three. One point three. The last page. Uh, one point three. In my book, the chat, uh, version 11, uh, page number 52, you have vertical line. Vertical line x equal to a. Okay, example x equal to 5. All right, now you have horizontal line. So that is what I, I call a, a constant function. Okay, y equal to b, example, y equal to 10. Uh, okay. So now, you look at these two here. Which one is a function? One of them is a function and one of them is not. Now, which one is a function? Is it the, okay, the 10th edition, page number 85, all right. Uh, 10 edition 85, uh, 11 edition 83, 82. Now, which one is a function and which one is not? Ni hantar kedua ni. Vertical line, horizontal line. Mana satu punya function? Okay, what I want you to do, Sketch the graph. Sketch it. You know, when you do the sketching, no scale. Okay, no scale, no interval. You just estimate. You draw you draw the graph, x, y origin, and then just draw the graph. Kalau x equal to five, label jelah x five juga mana. Okay, and then y equal to ten, label juga mana. So x equal to five, how does the line look like? Is it going, going horizontal or is it going vertical? Dalam buku dah tulis lah pun. Vertical or is it horizontal? Hello, hello, hello. Cepat, cepat. Vertical. Minit je lagi, nak habis dah kelas ni. Ha, vertical kan? So how do you get a vertical? Okay, vertical line, you got it by, this is x equal to five. So vertical. Ah, dia tak kena. So x equal to five. So what does it mean? It means, for x equal to five, I go to zero. X equal to five. This one maps to all value of y, all values of y. Okay. So we take the root here. Five zero. Five one. Five two. Five 
negative one. Boom, all the way. Is this a function or is this not a function? Not a function. No. Ah, not a function. Because that value of, of x no? maps to yeah. what? More than one value of y. So vertical line x equal to vertical a is not a function. Okay, this one not a function. Now, you draw the other line. Y equal to 10. Okay, Y equal to 10. How does it look like? Horizontal. Ah, horizontal. Horizontal. Ah, horizontal. There are 10 guys here. All right. I use the color. So, this is X equal to 5. Here, Y equal to 10. Now, is it a function, the horizontal line? Yes. yes. Uh, every x maps to 10. OK? Every x maps to 10. So that is the horizontal line. So what you call would be what? Negative 1, 10. 0, 10. Ne uh, 1. Positive 1, 1, 1. Uh, one, ten, two, ten, all the way, up, all the way down. So every uh, each value of x map to one value of y, which is what ten. Same. So this is a function. Okay. So y equal to constant is a function. X equal to constant is not a function. All right. Okay. Good. So when I say constant function, what we mean is y equal to a constant. Okay? That is the horizontal line. All right. Any question? OK, now the general form. Now the general form, you have uh, ax plus by equal to c, the general form. The general form and the slope intercept form, general, general form, the slope intercept form, you can always rewrite in terms of the other. From general, you can write into slope intercept. From slope intercept, you can write into general. All right? Now, I don't want to use uh, in terms of A, B, C. It's, uh, you know, you've got too many A over C. And then the What we do, we use an example. Okay, of course, you can go home, you know, and try to do it by the general form. The general form is A, X, plus. Okay, x plus y equal to c. Now you write it in terms y equal to mx plus b. Okay, if you want to do it, you can do it at home, all right? Or you can do it the other way. But I want to be try, okay? Tapi tak apa, sekarang we consider an example. So let's say I have negative 5x plus 2y equal to, berapa equal to uh, 15. So we take uh, uh, 28. Uh, so what you want to do, this is the general form. You want to, re to rewrite in terms of the slope intercept form. Now the slope of intercept, the slope intercept form is y as a function of x. That means y is on the left, the, the dependent variable, dependent independent variable x is on the right. So it's easy. What you do, you have to bring the x to the right. So what you do, you got 2y equal to 5x plus 20. Now you bring the, the 2 to the other side. You got y equal to 1 over 2, 5x plus 20. Okay. So that will be equal to what? 5 over 2, x plus 28 over 2. 28 over 2 is 14. Okay, so that 14. is um, yeah, okay. That is the slope intercept. Okay, so you have here, all right, a few examples uh, that you can. So I give you homework questions. So homework question, uh, you do this uh, seventeen, what? Seventeen to twenty-four. 
Okay, for uh, 1724, you find the stop when the y intercept. Uh, I don't want you to do just that, okay? I want you to add more. I want you to draw the graph, okay? number one, draw the graph. Okay, draw the graph by finding the x intercept, y intercept. Okay, kita buat ini dah. Okay, method number two. Method number one tu nak buat boleh kau practice. Tapi kita buat ni je. Okay, draw the graph, x intercept, y intercept. For question 23 and 24, I want you to write into the slope intercept form because that is general form. Okay? Now, for question number 17 and 18, I want you to rewrite in terms of the general form so that we'll be able to do the operation, you know? from the general form to intercept, from intercept general. So that will come handy. So these, these are the question that I would like to do today. Okay, for so, your yeah, question like two, maybe that will be related to the topic that we can continue later on. Okay, but now, I would like you to spend the, you know, the days before Monday, but in general. All right, if you have any question, you can always discuss with your friend. Or you can put the question into the group. Group, 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 what's up? Okay, to, to win a group, what's up? Now, if somebody asks a question, if you think that you know, answer, eh? you will answer. All right, I will also try to answer. But if your answer is correct, then I don't have to answer. Okay, so you, you can always help each other. All right, then I'm ready. Okay, so tapa, you want to help? Uh, try, it's okay. If it is strong, don't worry. I know I, uh, there will be other people who can make the correction, including me. Okay, all uh, right, good. Any question, anything, any comment? Are okay. No, sir. Okay, all right, so I will see you again next week on Monday. I'll give you already the course outline. I'm going panjang. I what I will do? I will put in the recording, okay, for this class. Uh, recording for the first class. Mungkin tak payah aku, because uh, that is introduction. So I will see you again. Have a nice weekend. Do the question. All right, do the question. You have five days. Do the question. Don't wait until end of the semester to do, then it's too late already. Even though it is easy, practice, all right? Okay, I'll see you again. Assalamualaikum. Um, sir. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Questions are on page 83, right? Uh, question two, 1.3. 1.3, kalau 11 edition, Eight. 83 lah. Kalau okay. the 10 edition tu, mungkin page lain. Uh, but the questions are from 17 to 24. Yang y equal to 7 over 3x minus 1 over 4. Lepas tu, up to question number 24, 3x minus 2y equal to 8. I think it's a big question. Kalau dia, uh, then you do test in, in uh, the next edition. Okay, so for your question number 11. Oh, okay. Okay. So thank you. I will see you again. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. 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 Thank you, sir. Thanks. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you.